Hello there, and welcome to Five Figures. Today I'm looking at a batch of a couple of great tag teams here from the WWE. Now I know what you're thinking. The New Day is a great tag team. The Bludgeon Brothers were not a great tag team. Well, you're wrong. They're both great tag teams, and I'm going to stand by that fact. Um, went to a couple house shows for SmackDown uh, before these guys hit TV. And what they were capable of in the ring, they never utilized these guys to their full potential. I mean, these guys were doing flips, through the rope shit. I mean, going absolutely nuts. And you never got to see them cut loose that amazing on TV or on any of the pay-per-views. But on house show, uh, what these two guys could do, what Harper and Rowan could do, awesome. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to stick with my fact that these are both great tag teams. We all know Kofi's great. Um... Uh, Austin Creed here is probably one of the coolest guys in wrestling and everybody loves Big E. I'm going to start with uh, Rowan over here. I just got these guys in the mail today. Um, I had no freaking clue just how damn big they are. You can see next to the New Day here, they are enormous. I'm going to turn him sideways so his trombone -er don't get in the way. And take a look at Rowan. Um, this is of course before he was the Eco Warrior guy with Daniel Bryan. And these figures are just massively heavy. I can't get over how heavy they are. So his helmet comes off. It's a mask, but it threads through this hood. So it all comes together. And then you can slip it over the top. Kind of just like he takes it off on the when he takes it off. Uh, the mask and the hood is separate, but they do kind of go together and then just slip over the top. So I kind of like that. Um, Rowan, of course, looks great. His mallet looks great. His big ass jacket looks great. And it is heavy. And I'm gonna slip it off just real quick so you can kind of get, his body is slightly different because he's got this big Bletchen Brothers belt thing on, this lifting belt, which uh, Harper doesn't have. And then their legs are just like insanely thick. They've got like the giant pant legs, plus they got these big pads so you don't get much movement out of the ankle or the foot, nor do you get a ton out of the ankle, the leg, the double jointed knee, but it's not terrible. I'm not gonna say it's bad. And I mean, let's face it, he just aesthetically, these guys look amazing. I, I loved this gimmick. I know that the two guys involved didn't so much love the gimmick, but um, I thought it was awesome. I thought it worked. You know, I love a good cheesy road warrior-ish tag team. It's just a thing I will always love. So I'm gonna put that back on there. Uh, next we'll take a look at Luke Harper. Of course he's not Luke Harper anymore. He's Brody Lee, but who's counting? You know, I still have trouble sometimes calling Moxley Dean Ambrose, but not that often. Um, his coat is all one piece. He has one sleeve and not on the other side. His legs are the same, his body's the same, except he doesn't have that. He's got different texture, but he doesn't have that big belt thing. And he just looks fantastic. Um, this guy is, he's way cooler than everybody gives him credit for, I think. And I've really been enjoying, like I said, some of his work on like the live shows and what he does is so, so much more athletic than what you see on the TV show. He, they always play him as like these gigantic, uh, slow moving bruiser guys. And he can run ropes and get flippy and crazy with the rest of them. Saw some amazing shit out of these guys. So looking forward to see what he can do uh, in a company that believes in him. Anyway, we'll set him there and we'll go on to our poster boys for the booty. Um, the New Day. This is from their Booty O's set. Uh, the ones that came in the big cereal box. Uh, their WrestleMania. I can't remember which WrestleMania it was, but their outfit where they came out of the the big giant thing and they were they were wearing those. Uh, they were dressed as Ginyu Force. Uh, they didn't give us the Ginyu Force stuff, but it is the Booty O's box, and I do appreciate everything about their outfits here. Uh, not their craziest colored outfits, but we'll live with it. Uh, I appreciate how much hair they have drawn on on his chest. Just look at Austin Creed's chest. 
That is just insane. Xavier Woods. Not my favorite Xavier Woods hairdo, but... And of course they gave him his trombone. I cannot remember his trombone's name. Um, I, I remember it has a name, but I can't remember what it is. So, I'm going crazy. Big E here. Uh, I've never been a big fan of this expression that they put on him. I like the calm-faced Big E. Uh, and due to his massive thickness, his ab crunch doesn't close forward much. It closes back an adequate amount. Every time I do that, it looks like I'm hurting him. Uh, but I, I love the, the, the body that they used. It's just so thick. Uh, they're going to have to use the same, same body style on Jordan Grace when they finally make a figure of her. Um, but he is fantastic. Oh, and Kofi goes down, but it's okay because he's next. Take off his unicorn horn. Not my favorite Kofi hairdo, but I think they used the right body sculpt on this one. Uh, they got his boots nice and right. They got everybody's boots nice and goofy. I appreciate that. Uh, the facial likeness on this one is not quite as Kofi as I think it should be. I mean, he looks just a little squinty, but I don't know. I've, I've got some better figures from Co of Kofi that I, I think look more like him than this particular one does. But I'm still, I love how, like, he's got a thinner upper torso, and they've got that down in here. It's like they made this just with him in mind. So I very much appreciate it. And there they are. A couple of great tag teams. All of them WWE Elite action figures. All of them fantastic. Um, these are going to be harder to pick up because he just left the company and he's probably not far behind. So if you are interested in finding this stuff, um, wrestling figures, if you're not familiar, uh, can get extremely expensive and collectible sometimes uh, depending on who the performer is and where they're headed and where they're doing. So that's just it. Um, I snagged this set. I got a really good deal. I basically stole these on eBay, but... Man, a lot of them are going for a lot more than they used to now. They are getting pricey. So um, if you're interested in the Bludgeon, Bludgeon Brothers set, I'd grab them now, probably sooner rather than later. Um, the New Day, they're always going to be New Day figures. Um, this is just one of the best sets of them, in my opinion. So there you go. There is five awesome WWE Elite action figures. Enjoy. Bask in their glory. And I will catch you guys later. Bye.